Ah, you're going to love it. It's a compilation of some of the craziest shit the people who want to control every aspect of your life are saying about the future that they have planned for you. How they want you to live. What they want you to eat. How you'll get around. Your limitations on speech and travel and so on. And that you're going to be a slave. You don't have to be. You can stand up and say, this isn't the future I want. But until you do, plan to be the slave they want you to be. Climate refugees predicted to reach one billion in this century? Look at the xenophobia and political authoritarian trends that have come from just a few million refugees. What about a billion? Scientifically, this is not a climate crisis. We are now facing something deeper. Mass extinction, air pollution, undermining ecosystem functions. This is a planetary crisis. We are flirting with climate disaster. Every week brings a new climate horror story. Greenhouse gas emissions are at record levels and growing. We have to act. If we continue with our greenhouse gas emissions, then by 2070, as many as 3 billion people will live in uninhabitable zones. Without further action, we are headed to a 2.8 degree increase. Several parts of our planet would be uninhabitable and for many, it will mean a death sentence. Uh, here at WEF, I believe we're discussing, um, there's a lot of discussion about what the, the new world order will be, or how do we f work towards that new normative international order. <laughs> We are going to have a whole slew of new vaccines, injectables. I hope this time round, once we're building this new world order or new rules-based order... ...that give us the opportunity to make big changes in the, in the health of the world. Like a flower or a tree, I'll throw my head. In the end, you, 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 you need the data, you need to know who's been vaccinated and who hasn't been. Some of the vaccines that will come on down the line will be multiple, there'll be multiple shots. For vaccines, you've got to have a proper digital infrastructure. We're developing the foundational tools and knowledge in order to be able to engineer our uh, uh, biological systems, including potentially reconstituting uh, life itself. Can we can re-engineer our uh, immune system? Also, how can we open up new interfaces with our body, not only in the brain, but also in the gut? Wearable brain sensors. How many of you will willingly share your data? Your brain data, continuous monitoring of your brain. Then we'll get these insights. AI will transform and revolutionize healthcare and what it means to be human. 